Hello and hi, welcome to Yedidushove.net and happy 4th of July and of course welcome to Halacha of the Week, week number 43. Today's question which was addressed the Chief Rabbi is, Rabbi, Be'elo tefilot nashim chayavot. Which tefilot are women obligated to pray? Meaning, every day we know that a guy, he puts on his talit, his tefillin, and he prays uh, many tefilot, various tefilot based on his timings. We're wondering, what about a woman based on her timings? Because uh, women, their timing is very difficult for men, especially those who are married. What are the tefillot that they are uh, that they must pray on a daily basis? So the rabbi he goes through a long arichut, he goes through a long uh, description of what uh, what they pray, when do they pray, and in short, I'm going to put the bottom line as to what tefillot women are obligated to pray, and that is, a woman is obligated to pray one time every day without fail, meaning that every day. It should be either a bakasha or a, or a shmona esrei. But the problem is, we don't know what a bakasha is. Bakasha basically means requests or techinot, which basically means pleads that a woman, she would say, uh, let's say her brachot, meaning moda'ani, elokai nishama, asher yatsar, and then after that she would say the all the morning brachot, morning blessings, birkata Torah, like all that whole section. She would say that, and she would say a bakasha. What is a bakasha? Bakasha, as I said, requests. So the problem is, we don't know exactly what these requests are, but sometimes certain women that used to be in the old countries, where they would sit and they would pray based on their own uh, understandings and their own language, uh, certain uh, pleads from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, from God, for this person, that person, thank you, thank you for this, understand where, where they're coming from. It was, it was a whole prayer of its own. But nowadays, the chances are that we don't have such bakashot. So each day, a woman should be praying uh, one tefillah every day. That doesn't mean you have to be praying Shmona Esrei by Shachrit Mincha and Arvit. But one of the Shmona Esreis every day a woman should be praying. But but if a woman wants to pray all three prayers, she can do it every day, it's no problem. But that's not usually the case because we understand, especially by married women, that time is of the essence. And we want to make sure that every woman can enjoy her prayer and not be bogged down and uh, feel bad that she wasn't able to pray. Now that is why we go that at least one tefillah every day, a woman prays, and that is her obligation. So once again, it would be the brachot in the morning and the Shemona Esrei. The question is, what about Shema Yisrael? So normally when they say Shemona Esrei, when they pray the 18 blessings, they would say Shema Yisrael, then the 18 blessings. And if you had more time, you'd say the blessings of Kriyat Shema, the blessings of Shema, the, 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 the blessings preceding Shema, and then you say Shema, and then you say Shemona Esrei. But if you have no time, believe it or not, you say the, you say the blessings in the morning, and then you go straight to Shemona Esrei. Meaning that if you had a choice between Shema and Shemona Esrei, you would say Shemona Esrei over Shema. So that is where it comes back to tell us that what is the obligation for uh, each and every woman every day to fulfill their obligation at Tefillah. Have a beautiful 4th of July and I'll see you Bezrat Hashem hopefully on Friday for Parsha of the Week.